Ellen DeGeneres and Oprah Winfrey, how, how would you like a sandwich? The amazing Rando! Watch Rando the Great construct sets with his very mind! What's up, rascals? Welcome back to the Norwood Suite, and we are about to do some mystery solving thingies of puzzly goodness. I think. I. Th I hope. I might be doing something I don't understand. But, uh. Whatever. What are you? The story of Batman. Cool. I, oh, hello. A, a strange looking... A contorting hand thingy? I'm gonna just put you right back there and leave you. More bats? Oh, is that the flitter mouse? Okay, this desk is just like full of... Truth. It's full of truth. Okay, cool. All right. Um, ooh, a spectrograph. What's in it? What's on it? I want to see. Hello. I never spoke with you guys. Excuse me, but do you need to tell your boss to stop playing that board game and get back in the kitchen. I'm so hungry, Shelly. We'd like to order a sandwich. Turkey, mozzarella, cheese. Mozzarella cheese. Oh! Alright! Definitely hold the pickles. Chef Bruce seems to have to. F Chef Bruce seems to have to forgotten that the kitchen is open after hours and. All okay, that sentence. I guess that sentence can work. Considering the precariousness of his employment status, he'd be wise to remember such a detail. Especially since we're here. Alright, Ellen DeGeneres, uh, you feel very highly of yourself, right? His, llama, his ramen last night was just so... gloopy. Pick up the slack, will you? This meeting tomorrow is way too stressful without my favorite Hotel Norwood Sandwich Supreme. Okay. Okay, I get it. No pickles. He must have an ass- That beard is glowy and protrudy like. Poosh! Neat! Take! A piano key for the note of E flat. Okay, cool! That is nifty neat. Okay, so what now? What now? What? What is you? You as a door that does nothing. Um, where was I going? Wait, 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 wait. Where's that kitchen? I can get them the sandwich. I can un- I can do the thing. I got distracted a little bit, but this- <laughs> Details! We'll still get things done, just not always in the same order that I think of them. I think. Where's the kitchen? 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 Oh, kitchen. Wait, slice o -matic. That might come in handy. Push you there. Push you there. Thank you. Push a button. Why does this thing have shoes? Why does it have a dog head? You betch. Sliced mozzarella? Slices of mozzarella. Mozzarella is tasty. I like mozzarella. I don't know what it is, but mozzarella just has an awesome texture that I like. I, I could just eat mozzarella straight. Now that I think about it, that's exactly what string cheese is. So it makes perfect sense that I'm, I'm like, cool with mozzarella. Let's slice all these up. Because you can't make a sandwich out of whole ingredients. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta chop it, chop, chop, chop. And slice it. Slice it good. Slice it into fine, delectable pieces. And, uh, where, what's next? Oh, yes, the cabbage. Poop it you. Oh, no, no, no. Put it back on. Put it. All right. I'll wait my turn. All right, there we go. Now, hand washing is mandatory. Bruce, does the chef not wash his hands like a bad boy? 
Sandwich making station must remain clean at all times. While there is bread. Okay, wait. What's, what's this? There is a piano in the oven. Cooking up some hot beets. Okay, that's neat. All right, so. There. Huh? Let's put some turkey on there. Uh, let's figure this out. In the order that the most delectable thingies go. Cheese. Tomato. Cabbage. And the bread. And I take the sandwich and give it to the bitches. I don't know if they're really bitches. They're just obnoxious. <gasps> Donatello, no! Hello! Ellen DeGeneres and Oprah Winfrey. How, how would you like a sandwich? Look under your chairs. You get a sandwich and you get a sandwich. All right, let's check what's in it. Let's check this out. A warm, fresh slab of oven gold turkey. Tender and delicious. Creamy, farm fresh mozzarella cheese. Mouth meltingly marvelous. Oh, you like alliterations too, I see. A crunchy slice of hearty cabbage. Part of the balance. A juicy tomato dripping with flavor. Sliced impeccably. I'm impressed, stranger. You really know how to make a sandwich. You didn't leave out a single ingredient. You wanna split this? Sure, I'll be up in the library. I wanna get some hot pepper flakes from the room. You always bring a jar of Hova's hot peppers, huh? I have them with every meal. I'll get them from the room and meet you later. Room 206 by the stairs? Yes, room 206. Actually, I just need a few minutes to ease out of this comfy chair. Too comfortable given the work we've got to do. I cannot wait to sway the board in our favor. All right, ladies, you enjoy your sandwich? I'm going to do some more exploring, some more puzzle solving, some more... Wait, I didn't go to the pool yet. I should go to the pool. I've been putting that off. I'm, I, I got distracted making them a sandwich. Hello, shoes! Oh! Another piano key! Neato! Wait, hang on, hang on. This is my room. Oh! Hello! It follows! Okay. There's another secret right there. Where is that? Where is that? Wait. Ah! The library! Huzzazzle! Let's go ahead and come up here and... Yes! The etudes! Gimme! I got a piano key again! Yay! That's spiffy. If I ever went to a hotel that had that in their hallway, that'd be awesome. Got some cool decorations, I'm not gonna lie, but, um... Some of it, I'm not so sure about. 209? Have I been in here? Yes, I have. Okay, so that that's that's the first secret we found. 208, 207... Oh, wait, 206! That woman with the hot pepper flakes... ...has a giant-ass beagle sleeping... ...right there. Hello! Why am I going to take your green shoes? Well, that's not something you expect to see in a drawer. Why is there a sword in that coconut? Okay, um, I'm cool with all this, I suppose. Makes little sense, but whatever. Not everything has to make sense. I mean, most of this is like surreal weirdness anyway. I still need to go to the pool! All this, and I still haven't done the thing that we thought we were going to do at the start of this video. Okay, how boneheaded and silly can I be? A pretty boneheaded and silly. But anyway, let's go. 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 We've got two lockers to open, and I don't know what else to do. Wait, which one? 
29, 18. They're both here, so why not? I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah, open you up. Hello. You got Norwood's monocle. Sweet. From the summer of 94. I can also open 18, so let's go ahead and... Wait. Wait, there's a button. Push the button. Oh, hello. Your secret sneaky stinkies. Oh. More stuff. Norwood's Homburg hat. Why am I collecting? It'll be revealed, I assume. Shortly, per chappas. I got two options. I think I'll go here first. Hello. Norwood Etudes display security override switch. Oh. Das Power. Das Power? Push a book in? We got. Hello, ladies! Wait, did you just come out from behind the bookcase there? Yes, I did. But see, I told you this place has hidden passages. More than you even realize, ladies. Well, well, this will this stranger be joining our cultural field trip? My lesson plan has ground to a halt. Oh, we already know this. Um. Don't tell my father I'm not working on the quartet. Let's just say my focus is, uh, drifting. I tried playing that melody on the piano behind me, but my inspiration is tapped out. Perhaps you'd do a better rendition of it than I, stranger. All these old cronies here on the wall, rumor has it they did most of the musical heavy lifting, and Norwood just slapped his name on the finished product. Oh, kind of like uh, Steve Jobs. He's the Steve Jobs of music. Hey, hey. All right, smart guy that, Norwood. All right. Let's see what we got here. Missing some keys. Which I have keys. So let's put them in. Flump. Where did you go? There? Okay. Flump. And... Swamp. All right, now. Wait. Oh, 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 I think. More secret walls! Joy! Wait, what's that glowing snake doing up there? Wait... Before I just go ahead and go through the secret passage, which I'm definitely going to do, because that's definitely a thing that I want to do, um... Push button? Yes! Gimme! I got the Norwood Etudes book! Sweet! All right, now, through the thingies, and let's go through here, see what we get. Oh, more dioramas. Cool. Uh, Butch Karen McButchness coming in with a trombone. Not happy with his Grammys? What's going on? I don't, I, I don't, I don't understand what the visuals are telling me. I need that. Tug on your heart. Hello. March 14th, 1965. Mr. Norwood, I would just I just wanted to say how great it is meeting you after your concert. Was, not is, but that's not beside the point, because this is a letter from the past, and I don't care what context goes in what. Incredible music, as always. I know you mentioned wanting to hear me play for you next Thursday at your clinic on 5th Street. My class ends 30 minutes before it starts, but... What? Oh, his class starts before Norwood's clinic. Okay! Context clothes, plays. Mmm! 
but I'm going to hop in a cab for it. Looking forward, Gabe D. Hello! Mr. Paul McCartney here. All right, how you doing? Reading about spiders? Oh, hello, stranger. Don't mind me. I see you're moving in new and unexpected directions. You and I both, stranger. Did you know I used to be the conductor on Thomas the Tank Engine? It appears you need a costume for the club, huh? DJ Bogart is notoriously picky about who he lets into his party. All you need to do is a... All you need... To, you... Bleh. You'll need to do a thorough job of crafting a good outfit. Most of the guests, whether they realize it or not, can guide you to what you seek. As for you, this picture will lay it out. I wish I could do an actual impression of Ringo. No, he's... No, Paul McCartney didn't do it. Ringo Starr, that's who I'm thinking it is. Wow, I can't keep my beetle straight. <laughs> a formal shirt will be crucial. Slick shoes for dancing. Outrageous pants. A singularly intimidating necklace. A devious mask to hide your... Yoru fake true identity. Typo! A tall hat to elevate your height. And a monocle to see... A monocle so you can see others' true motives. There's Ringo's voice. And definitely a fake beard. That way people will think you're older than you actually are. The costume mannequin for putting this all together is straight ahead by the clock tower face. None of the other guests will be as stylishly bold as you, I can assure you. Pity them. Okay. Wait. Oh. Oh. All the things that I've been collecting! The, the clothing! The, the stolen shoes! The fancy hat! The beard! The jacket! And the monocle! Yeah! Ho ho! Now I just need pants and... There's... Pants, the mask, and the face. The, 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 not the mask and the face. The mask and the necklace. Those are the things that I am missing from here. Cool. Neat. Nifty. Snifty. Spiffy. Hi, Peter. Good seeing you at your 30th anniversary concert on Sunday. Wanda loved it. I just wanted to formally follow up on your conversation about booking agents and management. I know your manager has expressed interest in hearing you my work. And I wanted to make sure I had all his contact info correct before I sent him my tapes. Also, if you could point me in the direction of an appropriate booking agent for overseas concerts, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thanks again, Gabe D. Well! So all of a sudden we're finding these notes from Gabe D, whoever that might be. I don't know. I don't honestly care unless it's important to the story and the and the clue finding and the solving of puzzles and such. But that might have to do it for this episode. Like I said, I don't want these episodes to go too long. I want to, to be able to digest it. I think. Like them ladies digested that sandwich. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, let me know by giving that like button a bop. Leave some comments down below, and I will see you in the next video. Hopefully, it'll amaze.